It's finally time to do a wardrobe clear out. So Nathan's gone to work. I've got the energy drink. I'm ready to do this. It's actually not that bad because obviously we haven't even been in this house a year yet. And when we first moved in, we did kind of declutter everything to obviously have like a fresh new start. But I, clothes are a passion of mine. Fashion is a passion of mine. And I accumulate clothes and I struggle to let things go. I'm getting better at it, but I do struggle to let things go. So this is my side of the wardrobe. We have the top bit here. We also have the bottom bit down here and this little shelf bit at the top. So as you can see, this probably looks to most like an organized-ish wardrobe, but there's so much in there that like I don't wear and to be fair, there isn't much room to put other stuff in. And yeah, I just feel like I need to know what I've got so I know what I want to wear, like what new stuff that I've got that I haven't worn yet. And yeah, that's the reason for it. This is Nathan's side of the wardrobe. So he has the same, just obviously slightly less space because mine is the double, his is the single. So again, I'm going to leave Nathan's, I think. I might organise it a little bit for him, but... He doesn't have that many clothes to be fair and it's pretty organised. He's running out of room but that's probably my fault because I take up most of the room. Then he has his hat on a little hook there and the same as me up there. A little basket and we've got the little dehumidifiers up there to keep it nice and fresh so no mould is growing. So once we've done the wardrobe I'm going to move on to under the bed, which is filled with clothes. Then we also have our pyjamas in them little storage cubes in the spare bedroom that I've got an overflow of pyjamas because I can't fit any more in. Then we have the gym drawer, like the active wear, yoga outfits, that kind of thing. And then we have the knickers and socks drawer. Nathan has his own in his bedside and I have the big one in the double Ikea drawers. So that's everything that I need to go through today, kind of... See what I want for vintage, see what I want to sell, see what is just no good to anybody anymore and needs to go in the bin and then see what I want to donate to charity as well. I hope we're excited, hope it makes you feel calm and organised and it gives you motivation if you've been putting off clearing out your clothes and yeah don't forget to subscribe and we'll get straight into it. I'm going to take everything out to start with and then we can go through like that otherwise it's going to get a bit overwhelming. Oh. oh, ow! It never looks like a lot until you take it all out and then it's like, this is the part where I'm like regretting already starting doing this. Like the, this whole thing is a pile down here. I really do have bed that we can all do this. If you're doing this at the same time as me or if you're planning to do it, I believe in us. We can do this and we're going to feel so much better after we've done it. I'm going to start with this pile, which I think is mostly new clothes that I need to plan some outfits for or clothes that I'm taking away to Centre Parks with us. So first up is this, which is my birthday dress. I did settle on the black and white one. So yeah, I'm gonna wear it with no bra. So that needs to stay where I know where it is so I don't like forget to take it or like forget where I've put it. So that can go in the back in the wardrobe pile. This needs to go in Nathan's because this is his outfit this is Nathan's new shirt for my birthday. So that can go, actually, I think I kept that with the dress so that I know he didn't forget to take his outfit either. This, which I got for Christmas, which I'm so excited to wear. It's just this gorgeous, like, cord blue shirt. I love the color of blue that it is. It's like a purpley blue. It looks more blue in person. But yeah, I'm so excited to wear this. So that can stay in that pile. Again, this is new, this like racer style jumper and then underneath we have 
a jumpsuit which you kind of can't see because it's literally all black but again that is an outfit for center parks this i got from boohoo recently i've wanted it for so long and it was like I, can't, I think I feel like it was like £30, which is really good for what it is. But I kind of couldn't justify £30 on a jacket. Um, but then it went in the sale and I was like, absolutely. It's this gorgeous print. It's got tigers. Just a really nice design on it. But I absolutely love it and I can't wait to wear that. Is that sun going to annoy us? Should I go and close the blind? Let me see. How am I going to get across? I'm going to have to like... How am I going to get across the bed? Please don't snap any hangers. Is that going to be better? I am coming back. Do we prefer that? I know it's nice to have like the nice bright light, but I feel like it's just going to get too much, isn't it? Okay, we'll carry on. This probably has makeup on it because I've wore it, but it wasn't dirty enough to wash. Does anybody else do that? I mean, like, it's got to be done really, doesn't it? So this, I need to start a section in the wardrobe of clothes that are for my job like my artist clothes because i end up putting things on that i think i've water paint in getting paint on them it doesn't come out and then it's like oh that technically wasn't my painting clothes because it didn't have anything on it and now i've made it my painting clothes because technically you can't kind of wear them out because they're covered in paint so i need to make a section that is dedicated to my like work outfits so this cow print shirt is one of them so i'm gonna hang that on the door there and keep that section over there next we have these joggers which i absolutely love these this hanger's broke which is great these are also new from boohoo but they're like cargo style joggers with pockets they look really cool on again they're for center parks it's just like a nice outfit to shut on after swimming or like if we're going for a little walk or something so they can stay in the new pile i'm gonna sneeze it must be the dust off all the clothes it's gone it's my christmas dress and it's so beautiful but i don't think i'm gonna wear it again so i think this needs to go in the sell on vintage pile because obviously i've only wore it once it's next to brand new that's gonna go in the sell pile which is gonna be a nice neat little pile there also new i feel like this is the new pile like all of my other clothes are not new clothes but I've, every time I've bought something in the past like few months I've just been putting it in the first bit in the wardrobe to like remember that that's new like you're excited to wear it instead of just putting it anywhere and then I forget it's there and then it comes to like months later and I'm like oh I haven't worn that so yeah this is kind of like just a yoga gym outfit pink leggings really cute and then a little pink top I got these tops in a set of four from Shein there's a pink one, a white one, a grey one, and a black one. But they're so comfy. They're just like a ribbed material with a really nice kind of squared off neckline. But yeah, really excited about them because I've been needing to buy some just plain comfy tops for a while. Because some of the ones I've got like have got to go. They're just not the one anymore. That should really go in the active wear drawer but because i want to take it to center parks i don't want to forget about it in that drawer so i'm going to keep it in the wardrobe for when we pack this again is going in the painting section it's like cow print dungarees really cute they've got like a little zip down the side have got pockets but i feel like cow print is just my uniform to work in aside from when i wear just something plain but I love to think of like cow print as like my work uniform so that's going in my painting clothes pile i think i'm gonna put all of these ones back in the wardrobe so that we can make some more space one of my favorite hoodies ever i love the writing on the hood what does it even say design studio i love the back which says all seasons with black stars and then i love that the front is black and white in this kind of split pattern and it says LA Melrose California so we have this little white dress which is one of my favorite summer dresses really comfy really soft material love the v-neck on it so that is stained but that needs to go in the dresses pile so that can be made behind me a little black unitard and then a black two-piece set so 
we need a new section. I'm, I'm having too many sections here. The same as the black one, but in white. This is like really nice in summer to just throw on or to wear under dresses. Like if you need, if your dress is a bit short or it's windy, you need some shorts under it to feel more comfortable. That is what I love these for. These were from Shein. And then this basic white crop top. This little pink cardigan. Every time it comes to it, like I can't get rid of this. I don't know why. It's just so cute. Like I don't have anything like it. But I don't really reach for it that often. Because I don't feel like it's very me. Like I have to be like in a really girly like little, little cardigan mood for this. And yeah, but... Are we gonna let this go? I don't think so. No, because I don't really wear it that much. This is what I do. I just stare at things and think about all the times if I get rid of it that I could have wore it, but I just don't wear it. Orange long maxi dress with a little cut out detail. I love this. So this is stem because I love wearing this in summer. It's so flattering on. I don't love it. It's not like super flattering on. It looks like it would be. It's really comfy, but it's not like super flattering on. So maybe I'd get... We have the same one in black, which I get a much more wear out of this one because I just feel more confident in it. And it goes with more like throw on jackets as well in the spring. So this one's staying. I love, this is like a little throw on knitted piece. I feel really cool when I wear this. It's kind of hard to show off the hanger, but it's just like a little tie front knitted piece this will be so cute on holiday as well so that can go in like the dresses part this is one of my favorite t-shirts that i will never get rid of no matter what state it gets in it says mac and cheese on the back it was from asos new love club is the brand and it's just plain white on the front i mostly wear this for bed to be fair it's just a plain pink top from premark i don't even know what it says on it nevada i had no idea it said that <sighs> This I struggle to get rid of because I feel like it's really cute and like I don't think you'd ever get anything like this again. It says Motel Florida Summer Vacay with like a cool pattern on. It's like rainbow on the back. But I've got paint all over it so I can't sell it because I feel like someone else needs to get the use out of it. But I've got paint on it so I can't sell it. So maybe I just need to keep it in the paint and clothes pile. That's what we're doing. Mostly used as my tanning top. It's got like a car and it says Dakota, Drifter, something, Trek, what does that say? Dirt, Dirt Trek 98. With my little autumn pumpkin top. Love this. This is staying so comfy, like so soft as well. Stressless. Don't really love this anymore. So I feel like I've got enough long t-shirts that I don't need to keep this. I got in a charity shop. This is a plain white top um it's actually nike i think yeah nike xxl it was five pound in the charity shop but this should be in the active wear drawer so i'm gonna kind of just throw that over there this one says good energy with some palm trees but i really love that one wild west not my first rodeo i love this but because the top's just plain white I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of more like a dress, this one. This was from Boohoo and it's a size 18. And I do love it because obviously the cowgirl life chose me. But I feel like maybe I could find a better one. This shirt, which I'm not sure about this. I don't know. I feel like it could come in handy sometime in the future. Because the colour will go with anything. Maybe it would be a nice beach, beach shirt but i don't love the color like it's just like it's just a beige shirt i'm sure a lot of people would love it but i don't know this should be in the new section because this is a new dress but i kind of have no idea when i'm going to wear this so maybe i just put this in the normal dress section this is the same as my dress that i wore on christmas day but it's just black and white now i'm going to put all of them t-shirts and start a dress section in the wardrobe Okay, we're moving on to hoodies, sweatshirts, jumpers, and coats.
prints today. Very cute cow print by my sister's new business, if you want to go and support Foreverly Clay, named after my gorgeous niece Everly. But yeah, love them so much, very cute. This section is like bottoms, jeans, leggings, some more coats I can see, and like other t-shirts, like tops instead of like the long t-shirts that we've already went through. This is a really good hanger. I got this on Shein, I think you can get them on Amazon too. They're like, I think they're called multifunctional or multi-purpose hangers, but they're really good for leggings. Like I know a lot of people have leggings in the drawers and stuff, but I like to have, just have them in my wardrobe because I've got the space and it's just easier. But on here right now is mostly like old leggings that I only wear around the house because they're either really see-through, they've got who knows what stains on them, like bleach stains. My mum used to bleach stain all of my leggings when I lived at home. So I'm going to keep them ones on there. These are my super baggy jeans, which I probably won't get rid of ever. Like they don't really fit me that good. I've ripped them so much. So when I wear them now, I get so many funny looks in them. But I don't really care. Like I think they're kind of cool. So I'm going to keep them. This is looking like not very organized. We have leggings on here. So I'm going to move some of these leggings onto our little multifunctional hanger. And then that'll do for that because that has like five pairs of leggings on now. Oh, that does not look organized. It flared. These are my wide leg, like green khaki jeans that I'm going to keep because I think I only bought these in like summertime. So they are going in the keep pile. This one I'm going to keep for a bit longer. This one is my Yeehaw crop top. <laughs> finally time to part ways with this jacket jacket whatever you call them because as much as I love the color and I love it in autumn I don't feel good when I put it on I don't feel like it suits me I don't feel like it's me so I think it's gonna go I'm gonna be sad to see it go but it's got to be done I think it's most delicious as well so whoever receives this is gonna be in for a treat because I don't know what softener I've used but that smells so good Another one which I'm going to be sad to see go is my western cowgirl jacket. Like I have some kind of connection to this. It's got this really cool fringe on but I think it's got to go because I just don't really wear it that much. Like it's a very particular style. I'm going to say goodbye to it. I'm going to move on to under the bed. I'm going to I think put a YouTube video on for this part and just speed it up because mostly under the bed I think is like holiday clothes, swimwear, I know the udi the udies are under there so it's mostly just about organising but this ottoman bed <laughs> is honestly the best thing ever. I don't know how like people just have no storage under the bed because I feel like it's such a waste like you've got this huge bed that takes up a lot of space in your room why not have it as storage underneath so this is the Ikea ottoman bed when we lived at my mum's we also had an ottoman bed that we got from like the local bed shop I knew when we moved out that we needed to get an ottoman bed because it's just such a good storage saving idea so i'm gonna go through this I've got these new sandals recently for holiday which we still haven't booked the holiday but is on the agenda for this week we need to book a holiday and hopefully book a tattoo as well but yeah how nice are these nude western style sandals they're from boohoo i think either boohoo or pretty little thing always keep these wherever we have clothes and look at all that water in there that's filled up from under the bed just moisture unnecessary moisture so yeah make sure you have these where clothes are it stops damp it stops mold it stops unnecessary moisture
Okay, this is definitely more organised. The back there is clothes that I'm selling on Vinted and clothes that Nathan's selling on Vinted. This is my bikinis and swimsuits, which just kind of stay in a messy pile, really. I'm not too fussed if they're organised or not. And then here we have some summer and holiday clothes like shorts and little tops and things. Then some of my knitted dresses that are also holiday wear. We have a bedding set. Then Nathan's summer clothes and swim shorts over there. And then my big coat because it doesn't fit anywhere else except from under the bed. We are on to the final section which is the pyjamas. So we keep our pyjamas in here. This is mine, this is mine, this is Nathan's. They're literally not even opening because they're that full and I have an overflow here. So and Nathan has an overflow on the top so some pyjamas have got to go and we're doing a pre-match trip this month because I need to get a few bits for Centre Parks and a few bits for Kayla's birthday and what's the chances that I'm going to pick up a pair of pyjamas and what's the chances that people get me pyjamas for my birthday because they're my favourite thing ever so we're going to have to part ways with some of them it's just got to be done it's freezing in the spare bedroom don't know why I should probably go and put the heating on because it's so cold but I'm going to work through this and then we can yeah reconvene i need to upload all of the stuff on vintage as well after this honestly uh, by this point i'm not gonna lie i've had enough like i'm so glad i've done it because i'll be able to sleep at night without this racing around my mind because when i i've said this before but when i need to do something it's all i can think about until i've done it so i'm glad it's done but we're on the final section and then i have a big pile to upload to vintage <laughs> We have this pile down here of everything that I'm going to sell so I'm going to do that now which is a task that I don't enjoy. Putting stuff on Vinted and posting them is a nightmare but it's worth it because it's reusing clothes and it's obviously making a bit of money at the same time. <laughs> I'm probably like halfway through taking pictures of everything but I thought I'd tell you a couple of my top tips for selling on vintage. Most of the items I put on there sell. I would say taking pictures on the floor is great because you can fully lay the item out. Sometimes on a hanger you can't kind of see the fit of things, the shape of things so sometimes I'll put them on a hanger and hang them on the back of the door. Sometimes more than likely I'll lay them out on the floor and you can get like the full length of whatever it is you're showing especially if it's trousers um good lighting making sure you've got a clean space because nobody wants to buy anything that looks like it's in not a nice environment good lighting is probably a top tip as many pictures as you can upload of like different angles the labels the tags like anything like that will make somebody more inclined to buy it because they're going to trust you more they can see more of the item and yeah i love vintage i think it's incredible I just don't enjoy taking all the pictures of the stuff, but you got to make your money, do you know what I mean? We are finished. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It's been tiring. It's been a process, but everything is on Vinted now. And I've had a couple of sales already, which is incredible. And yeah, I need a nap now, but I can't nap because I've got to go to work. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I need to get this ponytail out because it's so tight. It's hair wash day tomorrow, but my hair was really greasy today. And I just thought, you guys just don't want to see that. So slick ponytail it was, but it's so tight. I'm getting a headache and I've had nothing to eat yet aside from that energy drink, which is really, really not the health queen behavior that we want. So I'm going to go and grab something to eat. And then I'm going to go and paint some orders for the business. So really hope you enjoyed and I will see you. Well, we will see you because this has been a solo video. We will see you in the next video.